Filming for Mayans MC Season 5 is underway. I'm buzzing. I can't wait. As Chibs would say, I can't wait, Jackie boy. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And with that said, we're going to celebrate that. We're going to bring out another Mayans video today. Another five character video. But this time, doing it with a little bit of a twist. I'm actually taking a video suggestion from one of the subscribers. James Toner 3900 gave me this video suggestion. And it is five dead Sons of Anarchy characters that could appear in flashbacks in Mayans MC Season 5. So, believe it or not, this video was incredibly difficult to make because I felt like to come up with five realistic names that could appear in Mayans Season 5, it was difficult. Now, of course, you could name a bunch of dead characters from SOA and just throw them in there, but I didn't want to do that because, let's be, from a logical standpoint, like, why would they be in there? Like, take Gemma, for example, take Tara, for example, take Opie, Bobby. Like, there's no reason why they would be in Season 5 other than just throwing them in there because they are an SOA character. I don't think Mines will do that. They haven't done that direction before. So there's no logical reason why any of those people would be in this show. And they're not going to be in my list either. So I had to come up with five characters that I think have a realistic chance of being in this season. And it was incredibly tough. I went through every single dead person in Sons of Anarchy and I managed to come to five and it, like I said it was it was difficult so I have five characters and I do, don't get me wrong I don't think these five characters will appear in in fact there's one I think's got a good chance and then the, the other four I think a couple of them are like you know small chances and like I give the other two like one percent but I had to come up with five so I've done the, the best five that I could I will give an honorable mention though to Oscar Ramos and the reason I'm doing that is because he actually debuted it in the Sun so technically he would be a Sons of Anarchy character I don't think he'll be in season 5 he's dead there's no real reason for him to reappear they never brought him back in season 4 after he died in season 3 it would just seem it would seem unnecessary to all of a sudden bring him back in season 5 but since he is a Mayan he was a president he was one of the top presidents one of the kings I feel like out of everyone else, I'm going to give him an honourable mention because if they would bring anyone back, a dead SOA character, he's one of the more likely people to come back, in my opinion. But now we're going to move on to my list. I really do not think number five will be back, more due to the age of the character, but or the actor, should I say, but number five, I'm going to put in Unser. The reason I'm putting in Unser is because there was that scene he did bring Alvarez into Charmin, uh, the Charmin police station. He did arrest Alvarez and he set up the meet with Alvarez and Clay where they could squash their beef in season one. The fact that he was in that scene, the fact that he was the one that sent out the arrest for Alvarez, I feel like they could maybe do something with that. But of course, the, the guy that played Dayton Cali, who played Unser, I believe is like 77 now. I, I don't even, I think he's retired, so it's unlikely. But I feel like just due to that scene, there is a possibility that we could, because that was a pretty important, if you think about that meeting between Clay and Alvarez inside the police cell, that was very important. And that actually led to some major uh, points in the uh, the Sons of Anarchy universe so if there is going to be a character that is dead from SOA I think one of those characters could be Unser now don't get me wrong I don't think the character is going to come back because of the age of the actor but I'm putting an Unser at number five coming at number four I'm putting in Dawn Traeger the daughter of Teg if you remember correctly she was born alive in Sons of Anarchy and the last time we seen Teg in the Mayans he was having a discussion about Alvarez, they were talking about Alvarez, uh, the sacrifices that Alvarez has made due to family, and he was telling that to Teg, and Teg's also made some sacrifices with his family. Not that he, not on purpose, he didn't, you know, he didn't choose for Dawn to die, he didn't let Dawn die, but him and Alvarez do share something in common, and that is that they've had a child taken away from them. So I feel like if they go down that route, if they explore, that route of Alvarez losing his son and perhaps uh, Alvarez and Tig have any more communications, if they have any more scenes together, then perhaps we could get a quick flashback of um, of Tig where he, where he sees his daughter Dawn. Again, it's unlikely. I don't think it will happen, but it is a five 
person list. I had to come up with a couple of names here, and th those two, Unser and Dawn, were, were two that I had to pluck from nowhere. I think these two are more likely to be in the show than a Bobby or a Tara, but that's just me. Uh, moving on to number three, I think there's a small chance he could be in it, but I'm going to say no, and that is Clay Morrow. Again, pretty much just due to the fact that him and Alvarez had that sit-down that led to Alvarez's son being killed, that was pretty much the deal, um, that was what got them peace really, the fact that Alvarez sacrificed the son so that the Mayans and sons could come together and put behind the war, put their differences behind them, so again, plus Clay was president, uh, the Mayans and sons were at war for a very long time, I I'm, I'm sure they could do something with Clay in a quick flashback, but again, I wouldn't bet my money on it. I, I, I don't, uh, What percentage-wise, I'd say maybe like a 3% chance of Clay coming back. But I, I do think he's got more chance than most dead SOE characters coming back. So that's why he is on this list. Then moving into number two, again, I don't think this will happen. I'm hoping it will happen. I'm, I'm pretty positive it won't. But I'm going to go with Jax Taylor. Charlie Hunnam recently came out and said he's looking to reprise his role as Jax Taylor. People are always comparing Jax and Easy. Why not? Why not have Jax in the Mayans? I think it'd be great for the show. It'd be a huge moment. It'd be great to see Jax Teller back on TV. I'm not kind of sure how they would implement it, but Jax and Alvarez became very close. So who knows? I mean, maybe we could get to see a scene that was never seen before, a brand new scene between Teller and Alvarez. I think it could happen. I don't think it'll happen, but it could happen. You know, I'd, I'd say it's like maybe 10% that Jax Taylor could come back and be in Mayans MC. And they, they could do something interesting. I don't think he'd be more, in more than one flashback. I think it would just be like a single flashback. But if he's willing to come back as Jax Taylor, then why not give it a go? You know, it'd be stupid not to do it. I mean, surely they could think of something. And coming in at number one, I actually think there's a good chance this guy would be in a flashback, and that is S.A. Alvarez. That is the son of Alvarez, the one who basically put out the hit on Clay, he botched the hit and therefore he had to pay the ultimate price. His life was sacrificed so that the sons and the Mayans could go into business with each other. And if you can't remember, he actually got stabbed in the back of the head by Happy, who of course is still alive. We could potentially get some interaction between Happy and Alvarez. Alvarez maybe wanting revenge on Happy for killing his son. It's a possibility. But I do think, based on what we've seen at the end of Season 4, we could maybe... Get an, a, a flashback scene with S.A. Alvarez and um, Marcus Alvarez. I think that's likely to happen. I think there's a good chance. I'd say 50-50. I think we could. I think there's a good chance we could get S.A. Alvarez uh, in season five of the Mayans MC. Anyway, guys, that's my list. It was really difficult to come up with because I just don't think there's any reason to bring back half of these any of these dead SOE characters to be honest I mean yeah I can understand the characters that are alive it makes sense to bring like Chibs, Tig, Happy you want to bring in Teal, you want to bring in Ratboy that makes sense because you need bodies, you need sons you need people for the minds to face off against you do need that but in terms of dead characters I just don't think there's I don't think there's an opening for pretty much anybody, but I'd give the five that I think are most likely to appear. So let me know your five in the comments below, and uh, hopefully it's not as difficult for you guys to come up with five as it was for me, because it was really difficult. But again, thanks to James Toner for the suggestion. Going to be making more Minds videos in the next couple of weeks, and cannot wait for the return. I think the, I think the debut of Season 5 is actually, the release is going to be like later this year, so... It's a little bit longer to wait, but I'm sure it will be worth it. That's it, guys. Till next time. We'll catch you later. It's been Fog Entertainment. Peace.